Hi, Hi, Tim. What took so long to make this short into a feature film? <laughs> well, I mean, it's just something. Oftentimes, these projects take a long time. I, mean, I remember, like Nightmare Before Christmas, it took almost ten years to get made. So, this seems to be like a ten-year moratorium <laughs> on idea things or something. And it just takes a while. I think there's something about mounting a stop-motion thing, which the process itself takes a period of time. But it's also the right, you know, because it's such a rarefied medium. You know, you want to make sure you get the right people and the right animation, the right animators and all. And because it's such a personal project, it was important to just have that kind of you know, group of people that you join. When we were us. making uh, movies back then, you know, things like Vincent, which you know had two million views on YouTube. Did you imagine you'd still be doing this medium and things like that? You know. Well, I, I, you know, I was lucky to do the short live action because I think if I'd done an animation, I'd probably still be chained to an animation desk. So <laughs> I think if the time was right, I'm glad that it that it happened this way because uh, you, you know I, I've known enough, done enough stop motion movies now to where I feel I, it, it just felt like the right uh, project for that medium. Something about the Frankenstein story and stop motion just seemed to right fit. No, not everybody knows Dark Shadows, so you're introducing the story to a bunch of new people, but there are those of us who love the yeah, original. Yeah. So how do you satisfy both audiences? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. I think people see it and they think, oh, we're kind of making fun of it or something, but that's not the case. I mean, it was a show, the reason I did it is that I loved it, you know, and I think that that, that was something, you know, Johnny loved it, I know, and Michelle Pfeiffer. Those are the three of us on the movie that knew, that, that knew Dark Shadows. Uh, none of the rest of the cast, and I didn't really show it to them because if I think if I showed them, they would be like, well, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> so, but but it was it was great to have those two, Johnny and Michelle, that that were really into the show and, and got the vibe of it. And I think they, they they helped with the rest of the cast to kind of get the right spirit. How tough was it to find the right tone to bring it to the screen? Well, I. I, I, I you know, it was weird because it, we were trying to kind of capture that weird some sort of movie soap opera acting and, and things. So, y you know, I mean, we just tried to treat it, even though I think there's there's humor in it, we, tr we treated it seriously and we were treating it like it was a, you know, real melodrama. And, and so, but it is, a, it is a strange tone to go for. So I, 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 I was quite organic. I, 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 you know, you just kind of go on your instincts, whether they're right or wrong. And so I just tried to capture the weird Dark Shadows vibe. <laughs> and what does it mean to you now that um, in 2012 you have Dark Shadows and Frank and Winnie. Frank and Winnie said yes. it was from early in career. Yeah. Dark Shadows, it was an important part of your yeah. youth. Yeah. Now they have both coming out in the same year. It it's has. strange, yeah. No, I mean, I, I wouldn't have planned it that way. It's just projects seem to have a life of their own, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, so especially with the stop motion, I mean, you got to kind of do it when the, when the, when the elements are right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's been in the works you know been the go for several years so it just sort of happened to happen like and, this and now that it's happening how does it feel kind of like this it's, it's, it's a bit it's too, too much, much. yeah <laughs> i'm sick of me already uh, are you open to see frank and weenie um every halloween the way you nightmare does you know coming around yeah, those events i mean that, that was such a special phenomenon you know I, I that 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 one took a while to click in so hopefully frank and weenie won't, won't take as long but uh no, I mean, it's just special. I'm excited about it, so I, I hope, I, I, I think, we only hope for the best. How has your collaboration with Johnny Depp changed over the years? Uh, it really hasn't. It's funny. I think the first time I met him on Scissorhands, you know, it we connected, and, and uh, it's just kind of been the same ever since, you know. He, 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 I love working. He tries different things. He likes to be different in every movie. So each time I work with him, it feels like it's the first time. So, you know, we kind of kept that vibe going. Yeah. Thank you guys. Oh, Thank cool. you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much.